Still to come on Inside the NBA, more highlights, it's expansion night. The Raptors, there's Damon Stoudemire making his debut. What a big night for the Toronto Raptors, their first game ever. Taking on the New Jersey Nets tonight, Isaiah Thomas, what a proud night for him. And he, you know, he drafted Damon Stoudemire. Those point guards just sticking together. And Damon, with Derek Coleman still sidelined there for New Jersey. And here's Stoudemire, he's got some quicks. Got some good court vision there, too, to A.C. Earl, the former Boston Celtic. Third period, and the Raptors do not adjust your set, folks. They're winning by 15 in the third quarter in their first game ever as they play in Toronto. Damon Stoudemire said his goal this year is to be in the top five in assists. Last year, he was 14th. Former high school star here in Portland. Stoudemire gets inside. See, I, I think that's what Stoudemire can be very effective at against James is in high screen and roll. For weeks now, it hasn't been a question of if Damon Stoudemire would be traded by the Raptors, but rather a question of when and to where. Those answers came on Friday as Stoudemire was shipped off to his hometown of Portland in a six-player trade. Let's take a look. I'm just glad that, you know, the whole situation is over. Uh, it's been a stressful month and a half for me, and, you know, to finally get everything over, which, you know, I'm just happy about that. Damon Stoudemire obviously is a, a, a potential. He will be a free agent uh, this summer. Uh, but Damon, uh, quite simply, we think is one of the best point guards in the NBA. Um, he's only 24 years old. And, and in my opinion, uh, you know, I think everybody knows we loved him coming out of the draft. With the seventh pick in the 1995 NBA draft, their first draft and their first pick, the Toronto Raptors select Damon Stoudemire from the University of Arizona. Now Isaiah Thomas likes his skill, have been, has been vocal about that, that he is a guy who can handle the basketball, penetrate with three-point range. So, you know, he's the one who's making the call here. Does Isaiah Thomas see a little bit of himself in a pick like Damon Stoudemire? Let's hold so for Damon Stoudemire. He's a great player, loves to play this game. I'm not sure about this, though. Someone's going to be traded in this organization. Yeah, you would think that uh, you can't have too many. Of, well, some coaches would say you can't have too many good ones, but you can't have too many on your roster. Somebody is probably going to go. But there is Damon Stoudemire, the Toronto Raptors' first pick, and the answer to a trivia question now in Toronto basketball circles as he meets with Commissioner David Stern out of Wilson High School in Portland and the University of Arizona, 5'10", 170 pounds, a 21-year-old Damon Stoudemire. And are you concerned about the build now once he goes to the NBA? Now, what you're concerned about is the talent. And the big factor here is that they feel that he can take people off the dribble and finish in the lane. Now, that's the first thing. Can your point guard break down the defenses with the clock going down? The other factor is is, is can he get the team into the offensive goal and make the pass? Well, they feel that he can do all of these things. Plus, they like the fact that he's a basketball Benny. This guy enjoys playing the game, and one of the toughest positions that we're finding to fill today in the NBA is point guard. Standing by now is Isaiah Thomas of the uh, the uh, Toronto Raptors who just made this pick. And Isaiah, good to talk to you again. And hey, geez, leave it to a point guard <laughs> to pick another point guard, huh? Yeah, we uh, we feel that this is a guy that we wanted all along in the draft. Um, we like the sophomores and we like the high school kid, but we wasn't going to have a chance to get him. Uh, after that, we felt that the next best player in the draft was Damon Stoudemire. Uh, we think with the way the game is changing right now, with the three-point line, his speed, his quickness, uh, the way the pick and roll is played, the up-tempo game that we like to play, he definitely fits the style that we want to play here. I'm just happy that Toronto and Isaiah Thomas gave me this opportunity, and I'm going to try to make the most of it. And he would immediately set out to prove that Isaiah had made the right choice. Here's a young man that has no fear. And in fact, Isaiah Thomas told him after he drafted him, he says, that's the way I want you to play. I think he was very well-rounded in terms of his education in basketball and also his education about who he was going to grow up to be. And I think the Toronto situation for him was a perfect fit. Stoudemire then behind the back stretch. Booking on a show. Oh, David Stoudemire, are you kidding me? Seizing the reins as leader of the Raptors, the lightning-quick Stoudemire became one of the top point guards in the league. 
and with his selection as NBA Rookie of the Year, he had silenced any remaining skeptics. The war means a lot to me. I don't think a lot of people thought I could do it. Never take this young man for granted, because you're not going to see too many guys like this come along. Well, we have with us the first pick of the Toronto team. We had Isaiah Thomas making the choice. We had B.J. Armstrong parading around talking about the choice. Three guys that even the commissioner looks down on. That's a lot of point guards in this organization. Can you put us in any insight into a trade, whether it's you or B.J. that stays? No, um, I don't have any idea, you know, about any, or know anything about a trade right now. You know, all I know is I'm just happy that Toronto and Isaiah Thomas and Brendan Malone and the organization just gave me this opportunity, and I'm going to try to make the most of it. Your game, everybody says a tremendous point guard, but you like to shoot, you like to score. Do you have to alter your game, you think, in the pros? Well, I think with the type of style that they want to bring into this league with an up-tempo and, and run-and-gun type of, type of game, you know, that's going to fit me to a T. And so um, I don't know how much I'm going to have to change my game, but I'm willing to do anything I can to help this uh, Toronto Raptors organization be successful. A year ago is your roommate, Khalid Reeves, who is up here. He goes to Miami. Any advice he has told you about the NBA? Well, no, we really haven't talked that much about the NBA, but uh, I'm definitely going to get with him and talk to him about the ins and outs of it. You know, he's been through it a year, and now I'm coming in, and, um, you know, I can only learn from somebody like him. You know, we're good best of friends. There's some mixed response, some boos, some cheers. Take some time. Go change those boos to cheers, will you? <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to try to do that. You know, um, every fans have their expectations, but, um, you know, the organization had their, had their expectation and standards, and I, they felt that I was the person that could help this program, or excuse me, this organization out the most right now. Okay, good luck. All right, thank you. Damon Stoudemire, a first-round pick. His dad, Willie, was drafted by Seattle in the eighth round of the 1972 draft. Damon Stoudemire, the first choice of the Toronto Raptors. Damon Stoudemire, powerful power, the strongest guy in the league. A guy my size, you got to work extra hard because there are going to be a lot of doubters. You know, there are a lot of doubters when I came in the league, and there still might be a lot of doubters now. Push! That's a point guard in the NBA, baby! And he'd force the rest of the league to sit up and take notice. That boy Stoudemire, he's really exciting. Stoudemire! I saw somebody that you can get a bag of popcorn, sit there and watch and go, ooh. Stoudemire! Oh, oh my goodness! No! There's not one point guard in the league that wants to see Damon Stoudemire coming. Oh, what a move by Stoudemire! Stoudemire is probably one of the quickest with the ball. You're at his mercy. You just hope that he's having a bad day. One play that stands out in my mind is uh, we played Chicago, and I made Ron Harper fall. Crossed him over, stepped back, kind of looked at him for a second, <laughs> hit the jumper. I'm going to pick you right <laughs> out of your shoes. <laughs> Come on, Walt, Damon, get some shots up and get out of here. Coach Darrell Walker, a former point guard himself, had come to appreciate Damon. Unbelievable! Damon is a pro, is pro, and one thing I like about him, he's from the old school. He just plays the game and goes home. Right, get into it earlier. Yeah, yeah. What I try to do is pick his brain a lot and see what he's thinking and see if we're thinking on the same page. What do you think the mismatches are? Well, today? Yeah, I'm just asking you because I was... Still we thinking the same way. I think, um, well, the point, of course, yeah. I, but <laughs> that's obvious. I'm going to have to get this tattoo done. It's going to be so wide. Mighty Mouse was always somebody who came to save the day. You know, when everything was down, he would come in and save the day, and that's kind of his attitude. has a chance to be something really, really special in this league. I hope when he's done that y'all talk about he and I in the same breath. Uh, steal. <laughs> uh, we think he's played very well the last two and a half years, and I think the experiences he's had in Toronto the last two and a half years might be similar to five or six years in the NBA because uh, to have to endure some losing makes you grow up in this league a lot. <laughs> 
You saw this guy play, Hubie Brown, in the Goodwill Games last year, St. Petersburg, Russia, as we stayed on a boat for a month, and we'll never forget that. What impressed you back then, and what did you think of Stoudemire when you saw him playing against the international competition? Well, the quickness factor was there, Ernie, and he can break you down defensively off the dribble. He has NBA three-point range. Now, in the Goodwill Games, he was sporadic with his shooting, shot under 40 and then under 30 in threes, but... At his college career, he's a good, solid 45, 48% shooter, high percentage in threes. Shot more threes than twos this past season. He's the only true point guard in the draft. Stoudemire left alone to break down defensively for Cleveland. Again, high pick and roll with Stoudemire. The James and the out front. Stoudemire can get to the cup. This rookie point guard leads his team in scoring and assists from the Toronto Raptors, Damon Stoudemire. top candidate for Schick Rookie of the Year is Toronto Raptors point guard Damon, my man Stoudemire. I've known Damon for quite a while uh, back in Portland, Oregon, and throughout the year I have made no secret of just how I feel about him. I knew there was something I liked about that Damon Stoudemire. He's my favorite player in the NBA and will be on the show every single week. My man Damon Stoudemire makes a tasty dish. My man Damon Stoudemire I had a triple-double the other night. He's Rookie of the Year so far. So, man, I've been talking about you a lot on the show, man. I've been trying to let everybody know what was going on. Every hour, I read the paper all the time, look at the box scores, you've been killing. I'm so proud of the way you've been playing. <laughs> well, you know, just try to come up in here and do the things that was asked of me. You know, it was, I knew it was going to be a lot coming in as a rookie and be asked to, you know, kind of carry the ball club, but... I was ready for it, you know. I've been working on for this my whole life, and it, the opportunity finally came. Tonight, and what a night we have had so far in the Schick rookie game. Damon Stoudemire, 19 points, 11 assists. He was the game's MVP in a 94-92 win for the East. Wow, that was a big-time shot by Damon. Oh, Stoudemire, oh, big-time oh, move. Beautiful. Oh, quick pass. What a feed by Stoudemire. Wow. What a play by Stoudemire. Right, how'd you feel when they first drafted you? you? Remember, we were all here in Toronto. All of a sudden, I think they were looking for a big man or some big name. But when they drafted you, there was a sprinkling of boos. The Toronto Raptors select Damon Stoudemire from the University of Arizona. It didn't bother me that much because that was my time. You know, that was, that was the moment that I've been waiting for my whole life. And I knew that... You know, maybe they didn't know as much about me as they would need to at that time, but once they see me play, things, things have changed. Penetration from Stoudemire. Now, you know that one of the executives up in Toronto really likes his game. Yeah, well, you know, with Zeke. Isaiah went out on a limb. I remember now when he was introduced. Come on, people were not that happy with that choice. I know things have changed in a big way since the draft. Yeah, a lot of people were very concerned about that. The MVP in this game, how about this, 19 points, 11 assists, 4 steals. You got it, Damon Stoudemire, the Schick MVP. Well, first of all, I got to ask you, did you think that three-pointer was going to go in and maybe your tools may be stolen from you? Yeah, I, I did. You know, uh, I heard the ref when he called it, when he said the game was over, but still, though, anything can happen. And Joe, he played a great game, and he had hit a couple threes. And when he hit that, you know, I didn't know what to think, but when I seen the ref wave his arms, I knew we had won the game. Back in the draft, some people said Damon Stoudemire is not a true point guard. Obviously, Isaiah Thomas disagreed with it. You've been under his tutelage. Obviously, you had his type of game here today. Yeah, um, you know, I talked to Zeke right before this game started, and he just told me to play well. Um, you know, I told the people at Toronto that they had learned to appreciate my play, and I think they have up to this point. I just hope that I can continue to play well for them. Is it tough to find a lead in the expansion team? Would you rather have all-star teammates all the time? Yes, it's very tough. You know, um, it's, it's, it's hard to come out and try to play as hard as you can and know that sometimes we're just out outmatched. But we come out and we give 100% effort every night, and we've been in a lot of games. So uh, we, we, that's all we can do, and I think we're playing well for expansion. Well, rookie, MVP, congratulations. Thank you. Stoudemire takes the ball three and knocks it down. That's a big one because it ties the game with under a minute to go. Here's a young man that has no fear. And in fact, Isaiah Thomas told him after he drafted him, he says, that's the way I want you to play. You know, I saw somebody, you know, who was very exciting, somebody who, 
who brings the crowd into the game. Somebody that you can get a bag of popcorn, sit there and watch and go, ooh, ah. Damon Stoudemire, are you kidding me? Has it been a motivating factor that no matter where you've gone athletically, they've always said, oh, he's too small. Ben, five foot ten, you know, you got to have self-confidence if you want to succeed in anything, you know, especially sports stuff, you know, so just growing up and having to compete against the bigger ball players and everything, you know, I've always had that self-confidence inside of me. Mighty Mouse was always somebody who came to save the day. You know, when everything was down, he would come in and save the day, and that's kind of his attitude, you know. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, at the end of the game can take the game over and do some incredible things out there on the court. He got it up, fires! Got it! Oh, my! Yeah. The fans have embraced Damon as the town's newest sports hero, and he's helped make the NBA a big hit in Canada. Do you think that the city is really picking up on this basketball thing? I mean, this was a hockey city in baseball. you think they're really turning on the basketball now? Yeah, I think they are. Uh, basketball has is, is really become big in this town. You know, uh, every, everybody's just taking on to the Raptors. And when we start winning, I think that this city will even become even crazier for us. Damon is without a doubt the star of this year's rookie class. He's been the leader of the Raptors right from the start. And Isaiah Thomas says he's the type of leader that you can build a championship team around. And talking to some of the players like Michael Jordan, he said, this guy's tough to guard and so confident that he will be a star for a long time. I wear that thing. Stoudemire for three. So Damon, who's been playing very well off the bench, he had 18 points last night in 21 minutes in New York. Hits from long range. Three. Stoudemire's been hot. Another deep three is good again. Damon, 11 points on three of six shooting in this ballgame. David, another three, this time from Van Exel. Damon pulls up from three and knocks it down along two, they say now. Had a foot on the line, but Damon continues his hot shooting. 17 in the game. Pass by Stoudemire inside to Zach Randolph. And they find Stoudemire. Sneaks by Iverson and drops it. David Stoudemire, again, getting a rare start. Coming off the bench the majority of the season. He's in for the injured Scotty Pippen. But the Raptors would not become extinct. Stoudemire is double. Stoudemire takes it to the paint. Throws it up. No. Tipped up. Yes. The NBA's other expansion team, the Toronto Raptors, also made news. And at one point lost to Charlotte. They set a record by failing to hit on a single free throw. This is Stoudemire out of the doghouse and dropping the three. Well, they're going to need him tonight.